is a tutorial on how to make this lampshade. This is using six millimeter cord. And I'll show you one using four. the four millimeter cord with just the plain pom-poms. To make this, you'll need to know how to do the lark's head knot, a square knot, and then at the bottom, the half hitches knot. This was a six millimeter cord and it's a 23 inch shade so that's very large but for this one i needed 540 feet of the cord and i will put a picture of which cord i bought on amazon you can buy just the ring and then if you do that what you'll do is buy the um, chandelier that has like the chain chains that you can add just attach this way or you can buy this kind and then the, the shit lamp will just fit underneath and that's how it can hang up. So then once you have your ring or this shade, you will cut six feet of cord. This is six millimeter, so I'm going to use eight for the pattern. If you use three or four millimeter, you're gonna to wanna to have 10. And then, so this you have eight and then one for the center eight and what you do is just cut all six feet cords and just go around until you have all of those uh until it's full and then i'm this this has a space here but once i'm finished i will have everything lined up so just go ahead and start cutting and putting these on here with the lark's head knot. i decided to mark each set with just some scrap color yarn so that I can keep up with um, what, I, how many patterns I have, um, especially since this has the, um, since it's broken up here, it's more difficult to just add and then scoot over later. So this is eight plus one mark, eight plus one mark, and then I'll continue on. And now once you have the cords, you can count how many pom poms you'll need at the top. So this ended up being ten sections of. Uh, eight plus one, so it's 10 sections of nine. This is very large, it's 23 inches. So unless you get, or plan on making a huge one, um, you probably will not need this many sets of patterns. So now what we'll do is with the eight, we will get, find the center cord and do um, square knots. So we'll, this is the ninth one, I'll push that one away. So we just go and find the center. You take these two, and do the square knot. And then you will put this over the top. Take the next string, do another square knot. Put the strings over the top. So you just continue to do the square knot along this way until you're finished. Okay, so now you can see the first section is done, and now you're just going to move to the next section. Make sure you skip this one here, and you will use this section of eight. Find the center, and you just start here. Okay, so now you have one section, a piece of uh, plain one in the center, another section, and then we'll skip over this one and we'll do the same thing here. And we'll do that all the way around. Okay, so it's done all the way around. And then I'm gonna take this off. And th so you have pattern, this pattern. So what you're gonna do is take the right hand side of this pattern down and then the left hand side of this down and then you will use the center one to start and what I do is I start it about halfway down the pattern so go here to here And 
and then throw it across the top just so you don't get confused. Next one. Okay, and you stop there. You don't do this this one as well. You keep that straight down. So let me pull this down so you can see what it looks like. So now you've got this pattern. Doesn't that look beautiful? You can kind of tuck down on there to straighten up. Okay, so now we just move to the next row and do that as well. Just pull down this half. Pull down this half and use the center one. Center it up with these two sides and go. Okay, just continue to go around um, and do that pattern all the way around. Okay, so now you've got two patterns done and it's looking really good. Oh, I just love this pattern. So now what you will do is go down. Let me scoot this back. you will go down and do the same pattern here. The cords are getting shorter, so it's more difficult. They might start falling off from up here, but just as long as you don't get confused and you take the cords from, from the side, you'll be fine. Okay, it's done all the way around. And what I like to do is go and pull these cords just to make sure they are straight. So once that is done, then you're going to take the bottom portion and it will go underneath here. And you are going to go around and do a uh, half uh, double hitch knots on the bottom here, here, and just keep going around. The first two are the most difficult. All right, can you even see this? I'm sorry.
So now I'll just go around and do that for each section. Do another section since I don't think I was close enough. So you're just gonna do this. And then loop it through here. Pull it tight and do the next one loop, loop, and through. And pull it tight. And then make sure you use the top to turn. Go through, go through with the loop. Here, what tight? Do it again. Okay, once these are done, you're just going to loop these over because with this cord there's no room to do the double half hitch. If you're using the smaller cord, you can do the double half hitch across there. So let me just show you what I mean. So you are going to start here. That actually belongs over there. And loop, 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 loop. And then just pull it tight. And then we'll loop this and this. And then we'll start from this way. Let's pull that tight. If you don't feel like it's tight enough, then you probably will want to go behind here and put a fabric glue. But if it's tight enough, then it should stay. Okay, just do that all the way around. Okay, so that's done all the way around. Now it's time to add pom-poms to this section. So here and here will go the large pom-pom and the small pom-pom. So how I made these, I have a pom-pom tutorial, so you can watch that. But what I did to keep them all like a good, even uh, size is I cut cardboard. This is two inches. I'm sorry, it's three inches. And then this one is an inch and a half. So I just, to keep, to get them like this, I just did the colored around for the big ones. I did 10 10 blue, 10 with four millimeter natural, 10 blue, 10 natural, and made the pom-pom. On this side, I did six. So I just wrapped around the color six times, natural six times, and so forth. So that's how I made these. So just add these, and then we're gonna trim the bottom. Um, I, how I determine the length of the bottom is I cut it to this width so that then it'll be all the way around.